Hi, this is Phil Simon with a sponsored video from the IBM for Midsize Business Program. Today I want to talk a little bit about how a mid-market company can make the most out of its information. Now it may seem obvious, but this all starts with an intelligent data management strategy. In my experience, this is the single biggest piece of the puzzle and one that far too many companies of all sizes, particularly mid-market ones, often neglect. So let's talk for a minute about a data management strategy because it really can make the difference between success and failure for an organization. And at a very high level, strategies matter because if you don't know where you're going, it's very unlikely that you're going to get there uh, successfully, if at all. So what factors really drive this decision about an intelligent data management strategy? Well, companies have to consider a lot of different factors and it's obviously going to vary uh, with respect to your industry or your company's size or its financial position. Other factors include current technological investments, strategic goals, uh, internal capabilities, employee skills, uh, and your industry. So there are a lot of different factors at play. and This is certainly something that I do in my consulting work. I help companies sort of navigate the sea out there. Now, in my experience, far too many companies have really deployed multiple applications well. And as a result, they often lack a consistent vision. Um, companies have a lot of different systems and data sources. Now, the ones that integrate them better are often much better at achieving their goals. In other words, they can get into enterprise data warehouse solutions. They can do full-fledged BI solutions. They can do all sorts of different things, but it's because their information is integrated. As a general rule, it's better to have fewer systems, fewer sources of information than more. Um, certainly when you've got, say, 10 systems to manage customers or employees or products, uh, obtaining master data in an accurate way is often a challenge. So you need to be able to get consistent and accurate access to information. And that's sort of a precursor to doing anything fancy with business intelligence or data warehousing. I would argue that even if you have all of your information in an Excel spreadsheet or an access database, while that's not as sexy as some of the BI tools that are out there, that's probably better than having all of these sophisticated, expensive tools, but no one knows the right information. So it's very important to understand that the quality of the information trumps where you're getting that information. And in fact, and I've seen this many times in my career working with mid-sized companies, people would poo-poo a lot of those sophisticated tools because the information just wasn't accurate. You know, loading up a data warehouse or a dashboard with questionable information is unlikely to really result in any sort of success. Yeah, it may look better than a simple spreadsheet, but people want to make accurate business decisions, and that's really difficult to do without accurate information. So it all starts with the strategy, but let's not forget the execution, and we'll talk a little bit about that in my next video.